Let's get started by importing the Simple Garage System to the project. Simple Garage System requires Realistic Car Controller Pro. This asset would be very useful if your project doesn't have a main menu scene yet. Not recommended to use with existing main menu scene unless you know what you're doing. Importing the latest version of Realistic Car Controller Pro to the project. Editor will be restarted during the installation of Realistic Car Controller Pro. It's because the new input system has been installed. Opening the package manager again and importing it. RCCP will ask us to import demo content to the project. We'll be using them later. All demo scenes can be found in the Scenes folder, opening the main menu scene. Text Mesh Pro window will pop up for the first initialization, importing them. We need to add demo scenes of SGS to the build settings if we're going to use them. Simply open the build settings and add the demo scenes. SGS is currently using the default settings and resources, but we can change them later. Let's test the system and take a look how it works. SGS Scene Manager in the scene is main manager of the system. All player actions will be processed through this manager, opening and closing the panels, modes, scene selections, vehicle selections, saving, loading, restoring, purchasing, clearing. Everything has been explained in the documentation. You're not restricted to use the current template. Everything can be changed easily. There are few general shared settings in the SGS settings scriptable object. You can access these settings from tools, Bonecracker games, SGS, settings. You can change initial money, initial vehicle index, player prefs keys, and initial audio volume. Let's import the demo content of RCCP and test this simple garage system with them.
All selectable player vehicles have been selected in the SGS player vehicles scriptable object. You can access to this list from tools, bone cracker games, SGS, and player vehicles. You can set their prices and even the engine torque, handling, and maximum speed. Editor script will update the prefabs, but if you have very long list, you can disable the auto update feature and update them manually. We can add our own vehicle prefabs easily. All you need to do is selecting your vehicle prefab. That's it. System will be using the customizer component of the vehicle for customization. Let's add other demo vehicles too. We can add them one by one, but SGS has it already. Importing this package will overwrite the current player vehicles list with the demo vehicles. Price of the items can be changed directly from the UI buttons easily. Each button has a target item type, save key, and target price. I could use scriptable object for storing all of them, but I wanted to make it simple. SGS will be using the customizer component of the vehicle. It's called RCCP Customizer. If your vehicle doesn't have this component, all customization features will be disabled for this vehicle. For example, this vehicle has all customization features. Therefore, all customization buttons will be enabled for this vehicle. You don't have to use all of them. More info about the RCCP Customizer can be found in RCCP documentation. Gameplay scenes have SGS spawner game object in the scene. This is the spawn point of the player vehicle. Latest selected vehicle index will be used to spawn the player vehicle.
Let's create a new scene from scratch, creating the main menu system. This was for the main menu. Let's create for the gameplay scene. Let's talk about decals and neons. They won't work with built-in render pipeline. Their shaders are working with universal render pipeline only. If you're going to use built-in render pipeline, you can disable or remove decals and neons button from the UI canvas. Let's install the universal render pipeline and make them work. After the installation, creating a new URP asset in the project and selecting it in the project settings. Now, we need to convert all materials in the project. RCCP has automated installation of URP. Just enter the play mode and import the target package. Selecting all demo materials and converting them. After that, we need to convert body shader of the demo vehicles as well. But we can't still see the decals and neons, adding the decal as a renderer feature to the URP asset. If you're going to use post-processing effects, make sure your cameras in the scene have this option enabled.
Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Thanks for watching.